Hello there, Helen, Wellbeing Advisor for Mood Essential Oils. Now, a really fab way to use essential oils um, is to make a sugar scrub. And this is also something to do while we're all a bit bored um, in our tears. So these are really good at getting rid of dry skin and just helping to invigorate your skin. It helps it looking smooth, keeps you looking young. Um, it also, once you've exfoliated, helps your moisturizer to sink in. And it just, I find, keeps your skin really fresh and healthy. So a sugar scrub is really simple and easy to make. And you can use them um, on all different parts of your body. So the best sugar to use is brown sugar. You can see I've got here. Now, obviously, if you use a coarse sugar, which I'm doing, then it's, it, it is more coarse on your skin. And that's kind of better for your body. So using it on your legs, your arms, that kind of thing. If you want to use a sugar scrub on your face, then you can use a finer sugar. Um, or what you could do is blend it in a food processor or like a little handheld blender or something. So also what you can use is you can use any carrier oil to blend it with. Now coconut oil is a really popular one. Um, it's kind of very solid at room temperature as coconut oil and it does make the, the scrub a little bit creamier. Um, or you can use some of the other oils like jojo, jojoba sorry, oil or almond oil. Any of them work. So I'm going to start to mix these two together, starting off with a small amount of oil, as you can see, and then I'm going to keep mixing it dependent on how thick I want it until the mixture becomes the perfect consistency. Now, what you can also do, and what I'm going to do, is add the essential oils to this. So you've made your sugar scrub, it's so easy. You know, I mean, you could have herbs in there if you really wanted to as well. Um, but some of the good oils to use are sandalwood, Juniper berries, really good for skin toning. Frankincense, lavender's good. Peppermint is like really cooling as well. Um, or you could just add one of the oils that you kind of just like the smell of. Uh, lemon, lemon balm is really good. Smells amazing. It's really uplifting. So I'm just adding about five or six um drops of oil there i mean these days you can add you can buy really nice jars can't you in most shops i'm just mixing this together i'm doing all this with my hands by the way because i think that's perfectly nice and safe and you could add these and put them in jars for your friends so they could become like little gifts that you could look up different oils and see which ones you see, feel your friends need depending on what kind of symptoms and issues the oils deal with and oh that smells amazing i've used some rose because that's one of my favorite oils um it's a really nice consistency as you can see it's quite thick um because i'm going to use this on my body and then what i'm going to do later is probably make one that is thinner uh, i'm going to blend it and use a couple of different oils uh, mixed together. I think I'll use some sandalwood and cedar wood, which are both quite uplifting for your mood and good for your skin. Um, so go look at all our essential oils that we've got at the moment. Um, they all come with free postage and packaging. We've got gift packs and we've got the oils on their own. And have some fun. This smells so nice. And when you rub it on your skin, it's going to feel so lovely. And it's so, it's totally free. You know it's not been tested on anything other than yourself. Um, and you know it's not containing any chemicals. You don't have to pay for the packaging. Do you know, it's a completely lovely homemade way of exfoliating. And you've probably got sugar that you can use in the cupboard. So it's really cheap as well.